All right. Well, it is the season and the season I'm talking about is forecasts for the holiday season. So this is all yep. starting to roll out and uh, Adobe put their forecast out. I was looking at it uh, this week as well. Any numbers jump out at you from uh, the Adobe review of the U.S. forecast for holiday? Welcome to the Remarkable Retail Podcast, Season 3, The Baker's Dozen Episode, Episode 13. I'm Michael LeBlanc. And I'm Steve Dennis. Well, uh, I guess there's two different ways to look at it. Uh, E-commerce is predicted for the holiday to be only up 10%. And I say only because last year, I think it was up 33% or something like that, which is kind of the acceleration around COVID. But in general, I think we've been used to 15, 16, 17, 18% yeah. kind of numbers. So this is a, a pullback, but we have to keep in mind, you know, it's from a very, very high state. So if you yeah. look across the last two or three years, we've, it's still, you know, a lot of growth faster growth in physical retail uh, on a smaller base. Um, so I think a bit, bit of moderation. The other thing that kind of jumped out at me was that their prediction around Cyber Monday or Cyber 5 was uh, growth considerably below that, that overall 10% mm. number. And I think what's going on there is really the moving forward of, of holiday purchases, that there won't be so much concentrated on these big event days because people are starting Mm -hmm. their shopping earlier, which has been a general trend, but particularly with all the supply pain, supply chain stuff. So uh, I think that's to be expected. And I frankly think we pay too much attention to individual shopping days anyway. Uh, There's always Mm -hmm. stuff going on that kind of moves moves things around. But certainly very strong e-commerce year, not as strong as last year, but uh, overall, you know, pretty impressive growth across a two, three year stack. Yeah, right on, right on. Well, you know, what's interesting to me is um, how the Asian market is going towards these holiday festivalizations, right? They got their big days and their big days are getting bigger. And in North America, we're kind of going away from it. Cyber Monday was created, as you know, um, to get e-commerce going. um, Right, yeah. Prime the pump, so to speak. I I think it worked out okay. When I talk to retailers here, I say, what do you do with Cyber Monday? Because it's really a weekend, Black Friday. And many of them are actually turning their minds to how do we make Monday a bit of a special day? Mm -hmm. And some of them are using it like an early, what we have here, Boxing Day. So they're using it as a deal day. Right. Different and separate than Black Friday. So they're doing some clear outs, some overstocks. Now, yeah. Very few companies have overstocks these days. I was going right? to say, over, overstocks drive. may not be too much of an issue this year. <laughs> not the issue in 2021. Anyway, we'll keep a close eye on that. Now, I want to take this opportunity to remind our viewers and subscribers uh, to Remarkable Retail uh, to tune in either on our YouTube channel or, of course, if you're watching on YouTube, of course, there is the podcast. There's some bonus content on our YouTube channel. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a single minute. Without further ado, let's get to our fantastic interview with Kara from Hint. 